what is up everyone welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can play call of duty mobile on your pc game loop emulator and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can get 120 fps on your game loop emulator and i think this video is going to be very useful and very helpful for you guys if this video is helped if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you don't get 120 fps so that's all about the intro let's jump into the main things so first what should you do you have to open your browser and after open the browser what should you do you have to search game loop okay after search game loop you have to open the first link after open the first link you will get this window over here okay now what should you do yeah, here is a download button over here you don't need to download from here okay and another things you have to be note that here you can see it's a global section over here okay so here you can see there is too many too many kind of game loop emulator over here if you want um you can download from Phil philippines version indian version brazilian version and whatever you want you can download from here but what should you do you have to be download the global version okay you have to choose the global version over here and you have to download from here here you can see it's a game loop section if you click on the game loop and you will get two options the first one is the uh, download game loop and second one is the game loop 32 bit so first one is actually a 64 bit a game loop emulator and the second one is 32 bit game loop emulator okay so if you want you can download the 64 bit and if you want to play 64 bit game then you can download uh, you have to be download 64 bit of game loop emulator but if you want to play like only call of duty mobile on your game loop emulator right now then you have to down you can download the 32 bit game loop emulator from here okay so i'm going to download the 32 bit one because i'm going to play call of duty mobile and i have to be get 120 fps okay here you can see the download completed over here so now what should you do you have to install this uh, game loop emulator on your c drive on your c drive means on your ssd if you have ssd installed on your pc now you, you have to be choose the ssd location and you have to install on your ssd okay so now i'm going to install this one on your on my ssd actually so actually my ssd is c drive so i'm not going to change anything from here here you can see it's a uh, already uh, it already takes c drive over here so now i'm going to uh, click on install so after click on install it will take like uh, five to ten minutes to uh, complete installation process so it will take little time installation completed now what should you do you have to click on the start button after click on start button it will take a little time and it will start the game loop engine this one is the game loop engine actually so now what should you do you have to open the me section here you can see it's a library store streaming and me so there is five section over here you have to open the me section okay you have to click on the me section after click on the me section you will get google play store okay now what should you do you have to click on the google play store and it will um, told you to install that google play store on your game loop emulator okay so now we are going to install this google play store on this game loop emulator so here you can see it's starting download here you can see install installing engine it's 583 mb so that's why it will take like little time from you so after that i'm coming back play store installation complete here now what should you do you have to click on ok button over here after click on ok you have to close it and you have to click the skip button after click on skip button you have to click on sign in over here after click on sign in you have to put a valid email address and password for login the play store so after login the play store what should you do you have to search Call of Duty Mobile. After search Call of Duty Mobile, simply you have to install the Call of Duty Mobile from the Play Store. So here you can see it's starting download. It will take like uh, five to ten minutes to uh, complete the process. So after download Call of Duty, it will start automatically. After start automatically, it will pop up a notification. The notification is the safe environment required to run this game. Please reboot your emulator. So if you find this kind of notification, you have to click on OK. So now what should you do? You have to close your game loop engine. After close the game loop engine, you have to close it from here. After close the game loop engine from here, you have to open your game loop again. So I'm going to open my game loop emulator. From here, you have to click yes. After click on yes, the game loop engine will be restarted again. So here you can see the game loop emulator will be restored after game loop emulator is restored you have to click on me and you will get the call of duty mobile over here okay now what you do you have to simply start the call of duty mobile from here so after start call of duty mobile it will start with anti-cheat system okay so here you can see the game 
um, it's starting and the game will be work perfectly. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can get 120 FPS on your game weapon manager. So game will be started and it will take like, like some time to additional download. And after that, I'm gonna show you how you can get 120 FPS. So for 120 FPS, what should you do? You have to uh, wait and watch me carefully. Do what I'm going to do right now. So after download the resource, it will download HD resource. In HD resource section, you will get two things. First one is the low resolution. Second one is the HD resource. It will take like 1737 MB download, but the low resolution, it will take 60 MB download. You have to choose the low resolution one. Because in low resolution section, there is no key mapping problem. But if you download the HD resource, 1000 MB download, then there is a chance to your key mapping is not going to be work perfectly. So download the low resolution one and the low resolution one give you lag free experience. So use the low one. So now it will take 61 MB download. And after that, the game will be started. So login completed. Now I'm going to show you some in game settings actually and open settings. Now you have to go inside the audio and graphics. You have to choose the medium graphics over here and the ultra FPS. Okay, now you have to go inside the game loop settings. And after that, go inside the settings engine. You don't need to do anything from here. You have to change the memory section and the processor section. I'm going to choose 8 gigabytes of RAM and if you have um, like only 8 gigabytes of RAM then you can choose 4 gigabytes of RAM and the processor 4 core and a 4 game loop emulator. Now you have to go inside the model nothing to change from here in game section if you have graphic card more than 660 choose 1080p if you don't have graphic card, choose 720p. And the graphic quality, I'm gonna use HD. If you don't have graphic card, choose smooth graphics. Okay, now save. After save, close Call of Duty Mobile and close the emulator from here. Now, Open game loop emulator again. And open me. After that, call up to mobile. I'm gonna show the FPS. So here you can see my FPS is 100 and something. It's 120 now. Let's check out in in games FPS. Just wait and watch. So here you can see the game started. Now it's 119 and 120. It's constant. Okay, I'm going to jump in Shakura. Let's check out the FPS. So after jump, my FPS is dropped. It's 20. Now it's 95, 75, 88. So I'm going to touch the ground. And let's check how is my fps actually i just start the game and this is my first time i'm playing call of duty mobile here in this emulator so that's why it will take a little time for load everything so here you can see my fps is constantly after 90 actually after 90 it's 100 and 100 uh, 16 100 uh, 10 20 so this is the way to get a uh, good fps on your emulator so uh, here you can see this is the main uh, part where the fps drop if you scope the fps is dropped okay but i'm scoping here you can see i'm scoping my fps is constantly 90 plus if you follow my every single step what i do in this video then definitely you will get 120 it's near 120 actually and the key mapping problem will be fixed automatically 
So follow my every single step. I think these videos help. If these videos help, if you like this video, then please do subscribe to my channel and stay connected with me. And let me know in the comment section if you don't get more than 100 FPS. That's all. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Take care.